Lift your voice and worship right now. Oh, it's set a fire. It's set a fire down in my soul that I can't contain, that I can't control. I want more of you, God. I want more of you, God. Set a fire down in my soul that I can't contain, that I can't control. I want more. Or join the hand of someone next to you. If you don't know who they are, I want you to introduce yourself to them. I want us to pray this prayer together. Say, Lord Jesus, next to loving you, I love the people of God. Let there be great peace in this church. Let the peace of God be here. May every need be met. Lord, I open my spirit to you. May I hear from you. May you speak to my life. Now bless those on either side of me. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. I want you to turn around and introduce yourself to others, maybe in back of you or across the aisle. Come over here just a moment. Come here just a minute. Uh, you may be seated. I want to introduce to you, this is Josh Brown. Uh, Josh's dad has uh, been on staff here for many years. And uh, last night, Josh received the baptism in the Holy Spirit. Wasn't that great? Yeah. Josh... Uh, How'd you feel when God filled you with the Holy Ghost? Uh, I just felt amazing. Like, it just compelled me. I was just relentless, so it was great. Put your hand out here towards Josh. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray your kingdom come and your will be done would be, be fulfilled in Josh's life. Now, Lord, you use him in Jesus' name. Lord, use him with the gift of music. Use him in Jesus' name, Lord, and everything that he does. May he write music. May he fulfill the call of God on his life. Yeah. Amen. Amen. We love you, buddy. Come on, give him a great big hand. I want to welcome everyone here. And Mavis, come up here just a moment. This is one of the great ladies in this whole area. This is Mavis Bennett. She has been a pastor for many years. And she has built some of the greatest churches in this whole part of the country. And Mavis, I want you to give a word of testimony. I've got a hungry heart for the real move of God. And tonight as we were worshiping and just asking the Shekinah glory to come in here, I thought, won't it be wonderful when we really want him to show up and do the miraculous? And that's what I'm hungry for. Amen. 
Give Mavis a great big hand. Mavis. Mavis has been chasing the devil and the bad guys, and her son is a sheriff, and uh, he's chasing the bad guys too, amen. <laughs> but uh, we love you very much. Come on, give her another great big uh, hand of welcome. <laughs> Come up here just uh, uh, a minute. This is uh, Don Peterson. Don and I have uh, been friends for many years. Uh, we used to travel together, and uh, we'd fly our little plane all over the country, and he'd sing, and and I want to share a word of testimony, Don. Do you want me to talk about your flying? <laughs> no, just <laughs> brag on Jesus. <laughs> well, I, I do remember one incident when we were, I have to tell this story. We were flying to, uh, in Iowa. And uh, we got into some bad weather. And I'm sitting on the passenger side and I said, Bob, something on the windshield there. And I took my flashlight and it was ice. And the heater in the plane couldn't, couldn't uh, affect the ice. It just wasn't powerful enough. So I said, Bob, you know where the airport is? Oh, yeah, yeah, I know, I know. I said, well, uh, you know, this plane's getting heavy. So he put the full power to it, but we really weren't moving much. So uh, on the bottom of the windshield on the left was about this much space for him to look through. And uh, we landed. It wasn't graceful, but we did. We walked away from it, and that's all that counts. Later, we had to take a commercial flight to come back home because there was like an a inch of clear ice all around the plane. But uh, Bob's taught me everything I know how to sing and how to preach and everything, and uh, he's, he's just been a good friend, a wonderful pastor. I love him. Oh, we love you too, Don. God bless you. Amen. <clears throat> Another airplane story. Hallelujah. <laughs> I want to say that in a few weeks, on the 14th of uh, September, I don't think it is the 14th. When is it? The Thursday, yeah. The 12th. Uh, we're going to be having a special service, and it's going to be an outside service out at the Miners Lane campus. That's on a Thursday night, and it's going to be our tailgate service. Uh, that's Saturday. The uh, uh, Cardinals and the... Wildcats are going to be playing football, and so we're having a big cookout and a tailgate service, and so those who want to wear, wear red, you wear red, and those who want to wear blue, I wear blue, and there's going to be all kind of games and, and preaching. It's just going to be a good time, and I think God's people ought to have the best time, amen? amen. And I'm wearing blue today, hallelujah, but uh, praise the Lord. My red one got, I have to get another red one. Amen. So, how many have enjoyed this meeting with Brother uh, Ivan Tate? Hasn't this been great? <laughs> uh, now, originally we were just booked Sunday through tonight, uh, but and he's uh, scheduled in Nashville tomorrow night. But uh, we've asked him to come back, uh, and he's going to be back here Thursday, and it'll be over at the Miners Lane campus. So I encourage you to come and be a part of those services. Well, let's uh, give Brother Ivan Tate a great big hand of welcome. Mr. Thank you, Pastor Bob. Let's stand, everybody. Praise the Lord. Give the Lord a hand for being who he is. Say, thank you, Jesus. You are so amazing, amazing, amazing. Can you praise him a little bit and say, oh, God, thank you for saving me. Thank you for filling me with the Holy Ghost. Thank you, God, for delivering me from all my bondages and all my troubles, Lord. Thank you so much, Jesus, that we live in America, the greatest country in the world. Thank you, God, for the mighty breakthroughs that are coming for Evangel World Prayer Center, God. Thank you for all the blessings on all the campuses. Thank you for blessing Pastor Bob, Pastor Margaret. Lord, I thank you for all their children that you are going to bless them and they are going to change the world. They're going to have a voice of power and influence, Lord. They're going to be anointed. Thank you, Lord, for everybody in the building tonight. Heal everybody, save everybody, and baptize everybody in the love of God. In Jesus' name, and everybody said amen. All right. Praise the Lord. You may be seated for a little bit. Glory to God. If you weren't here 
in the rest of the services that we've been having, um, you missed it. Man, we've been having fun. It's been great. I love it. Praise the Lord. We're talking about the foot washer's crown. And we've been talking about the whole purpose you and I got saved and Jesus has redeemed us other than to go to heaven is to teach us how to be like him, how to be Christ-like, and how to be able to love people that nobody else can love. And Jesus said some very powerful things. That is, the greatest person that you can ever become is a foot washer. The greatest ministry you can ever have is washing feet. And so we broke it down to teach you what that means. What does it mean to wash somebody's feet? It's obviously more than just water and doing those kind of things. So we broke all that down. We explained to you what the towel was, what the water was, what the dirt was, what they had, everything about it last night. And then in the two previous nights, we talked about the freedom yokes, the four freedom yokes that unless you are yoked, you can never be free. And we talked about the four yokes that bring you rest and that deliver you from all of your anxieties. Praise the Lord. That was the second night. And then the first night, we just talked about basically everything about being a foot washer and a bond servant and all those kind of things. And so I'm going to run over a couple of thoughts that we have mentioned to you. Don't judge God by his adopted children, but by his beautiful son. God can be found wherever there's anybody that's got a problem. If you use me, you prosper me. If you abuse me, you're going to promote me. And if you steal from me, you hand me your inheritance. Then the secret of longevity is being adjustable. Praise God. Look at two people and say, I'm going to last forever and be full of strength. Rest is the reward of wisdom. And then you're only as effective as you are adjustable. Praise God. The only good works are love works. And uh, look at two people and say this. God sends vanity hunters to deliver you from your demotions. Glory to God. Look at two people and say, I don't know if you got any vanity left, but praise the Lord. Good attitudes and a grateful, atti a grateful uh, spirit is how God makes you make room for your next promotion. And bad attitudes show you the location of your next demotion. Praise the Lord. So we talked about a lot of different things. And so tonight, let's go and look at some of the blessings and rewards. And then we'll start flowing in the Holy Ghost. Matthew 23, 11 and 12. He who is the greatest among you shall be your servant. Whoever exalts himself with haughtiness and empty pride shall be humbled. And whoever humbles himself, whoever has a modest opinion of himself and behaves accordingly shall be raised to great honor. Praise God. So let's look uh, and start thinking about the blessings you're going to get as you and I become Christ-like and we start to walk towards each other. How many have ever had an argument with somebody? Praise the Lord. Have you ever had anybody look at you and then turn and walk in another direction because you terrified them? Or have you ever looked at anybody or seen anybody and you said, oh my gosh, here they come, and you just found a way to escape and just get out of there as fast as you, as you could because you said, man, they're so freaky. But you know what I have found in life is that God is interested in your character, and he cares about the kind of character you have. This is what I've learned. If your gift outweighs your character, if it outweighs your character, then it buries your destiny. And it's really important that your character is bigger than your gift so that it never will be buried by your gift. And then your gift becomes the source of your corruption rather than of your blessing. When you are humble and have a humility attitude and you just take everything as an honor to be able to minister to people and bless people, it changes the kind of personality you have, and it changes the way you treat people who don't like you. Because a person that is humble cannot be offended, and a person who is not vain cannot be manipulated because you know that you are the slave of the people that offend you, 
And until you're free from being offended by people, you are always a slave of anyone who has a personality trait that bugs you and bothers you. God wants us to live above the personalities of other people and the faults of other people so that we can walk and be trusted by God because what God wants to do is make each one of you everybody's divine appointment that you meet because God wants to send you people that are broken, wounded, and messed up so that you can help heal them and be a source of blessing and restoration to them. Praise the Lord. Look at two people right now and say, I love this kind of preaching. Praise the Lord. Tell everybody, I love this kind of preaching. Say, God is amazing. Praise the Lord. So the first blessing that's going to start coming in your life is the realization that serving and doing what God called you to do the way we preached it last night is the greatest thing you can ever do. And greatness in heaven is measured by the amount of ugly people you can make beautiful. <laughs> Praise the Lord. How many ugly people have you made beautiful? That's the question to ask. Because, you know, we have a limit. We have a wall. We'll only go so far with people. And we'll say, okay, that's as far as we can go. And, of course, dangerous people fit into another category. When a person is dangerous, it is unwise to be in a relationship with them. So, in other words, misapplied mercy creates demonic opportunities. When you are merciful to someone that you should actually exclude from your fellowship, you open up demonic opportunities for Satan to use them to hurt you or someone you love. So be very careful that you don't mix up what you're hearing and think that you have to, you know, be in fellowship with dangerous people. You don't have to be in fellowship with people who have proven themselves to be dangerous. You have to be in fellowship with people who are not perfect and they have particular traits that bug and bother you. Praise God. Look at two people and say, I want to be like Jesus. Glory to God. How many of you want to be like Jesus? Look at somebody and say, I want to be like Jesus. That's a big miracle right there. To be like Jesus is amazing. Praise the Lord. I think it's great. So, uh, so greatness comes from making nobodies into somebodies. Tell someone, I was a nobody, but now God has made me a somebody so that I can go find nobodies and make them somebodies in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Lift your hands and say, glory to God. Thank you, Jesus, for the Holy Ghost. Praise God. The second blessing you're going to find, the Lord was with Joseph, and everything he did prospered, and he had great favor with everyone and was promoted everywhere that he went. So the second blessing of serving is supernatural favor. Look at somebody and say, I need favor. What is favor? God's yes in spite of man's no. That is divine favor. God's yes in spite of man's no. Where is man saying no to you that God is going to give you favor in that area and turn the no into a yes? Praise the Lord. How many of you have ever had that happen to you? Uncommon favor like the Israelites. They left Egypt with $60 billion worth of money, jewels, and precious heirlooms. And today, 70% of the wealth of planet Earth is still under the control of the Jewish people. 70% of the wealth of planet Earth. That is a lot because God put that favor anointing in there and it's producing, glory to God. Look at somebody and say, I just need you to have favor on me right now. Please have favor on me. I've been asking you for $100 all week. Could you please find it in your heart to give me $100 right now? Praise God. Come on, tell somebody, I don't want to wait any longer. I've waited long enough. Glory to God. Stand up, man. I just see you dancing around like a little girl. You're just spinning everywhere, just dancing, 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 dancing. Because 
where you're at now, God is about to shift you and promote you into a very, a very large place of freedom. Psalm 18 says that the waters that used to overflow you and used to drown you are now abating, they're receding, they're going down, and you're going to come out of everything into the bright, beautiful field of the blessing of God. Would you stretch your hand out to here towards me like this, just like this? Everybody stretch your hand out towards her. What's your name? Valerie. Thank you, Jesus, for Valerie. Thank you for the Holy Ghost in Jesus' name. I just ask you to fix Valerie's body right now. Thank you, Lord. Fix this body. Touch her lungs as well, God. Touch every part of every organ. All the areas of her intestines and back as well as her knees. All the different parts of her body, Lord. In Jesus' name, I ask you to give her a fantastic year this year. In Jesus' name, Lord, I ask you to make her dreams come true. Make her like a little girl again who believes everything you say and everything you say comes to pass because of the blessing that you have upon her in the name of Jesus. So I'm asking you for this blessing, Lord. Take where she's weak and make her strong. Take where she lacks energy and give her the supernatural joy of the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Everybody agreed and said, I receive that for myself. Glory to God. Favor changes the rules in your favor. Praise God. Tell that to somebody. Say, favor changes the rules in my favor. How many of you want to have the favor of the Lord? And how many of you need it in some area of your life? You just need the favor of God. I love it. I love having the favor of God. It's amazing. Praise God. Look at someone right now and say, I don't know why I'm saying this, but I think that you're going to give uh, Pastor Bob a million dollars. Go ahead and say that. Just say that again tonight because, you know, we've been saying that, but I need you to say it one more time. Just, I, I just praise the Lord. Let me have the piano fella come back up there. So I just feel like you're going to give Pastor Bob a million dollars. Praise the Lord. Amen. Glory to God. Wouldn't that be great? $17 million is going to come into the church. Everybody wave your hands. $17 million. Glory to God. Woo, man. Thank you, Jesus. I told a, a pastor that somebody was going to pay their church off uh, on, in January. In a, uh, in, not this year, but the year before, in January. And a few months later, I got a text and the text said, okay, it's taken place. Someone just paid the church off $9 million. Look at two people and say, whatever that anointing is called, would you just give it to me right now? Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> it's pretty exciting, isn't it? What's that called? Favor, ladies and gentlemen. Favor. A pastor goes to eat an innocent lunch with one of his church members. And he's eating the lunch, and they hand him $3 million. And then he says, if you need any more, just ask me. I mean, all over, the, all over the world, favor is being poured out. But it's poured out to people who want to wash people's feet. Praise the Lord. Amen. You know, if you do it, it'll heal your family. It'll heal your children. It'll heal everything. Because it's such a beautiful thing. To be like Jesus. It's the most beautiful thing you and I can ever do or ever become. Praise God. I'm so glad I got saved. I'm so happy today. Just coming over here, I was so happy. I'm just so happy. Praise God. I love my wife. She's delicious. I love, love my children. They're amazing. Just awesome. Praise God. Tell somebody, awesome. John 13, 15, I've given you an example that you also should do just as I have done to you. What is the third blessing that God wants you to have? Christ-likeness. How many of you have ever acted like the devil? Can I see your hands? How many have ever acted like the devil? And you didn't want anybody to know about it. But then somebody told on you. Praise God. You know, Christ-likeness, to be like Jesus is an amazing thing. To just be like Jesus. It's so fantastic. 
to have no arguments and ugliness in the house. Not disagreements, you can have disagreements. You'll always have disagreements. But an argument goes beyond disagreeing. How many have ever disagreed? But when you argue, you're in the flesh now. Now it starts getting personal. It's not, well, you know, I kind of don't see it like that. Praise the Lord, maybe we ought to pray about it. Disagreement. An argument is, no, 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 that's not true, that's not true. Why do you always disagree? Why do you always have to say that? No, you're just saying that. No, 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 no. You're, all, you're just doing that because you just, you know it irritates me. You know, now you're getting in the flesh. And, and higher than an argument is two demons talking to each other. <laughs> that's when you, you go beyond the arguing. Now you're just repeating what the devil is telling you. God is kicking all that out of the, the families of God. He's kicking all that out of the church. He's, he's cleansing and washing the church out of all of that. Praise the Lord. How many of you ever had anybody say things to you that you knew God wasn't telling them to tell you? Praise the Lord. I want you to stand up if that's you. And I'm going to break those satanic words over you. And I'm going to declare the favor of God that had come upon you in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Because the devil is a liar. And I have the authority and the power to break those words off your life in the name of Jesus. As a matter of fact, I want you to come over here. All of you right there standing. Just come over here and just let me touch your hand. Praise the Lord. Those of you standing, just let me touch your hand. Just walk right by me and then go sit down. Praise the Lord. I just agree with you as you walk by that those words are broken. Praise the Lord. I just agree with you in the name of Jesus of Nazareth. Pray, wait a second. Now, you're going to get a lot of new surprises that Jesus is going to give you some real special blessings. Praise the Lord. Uh, I'm looking at you drawing things. I'm also looking at you writing things. And you have a creative gift, creative abilities. And God's just going to make all that supernaturally multiply. Psalm 115, verse 14. There you go. Thank you. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. I break those words, Lord, in Jesus' name. Thank you, God, for the power of the Holy Ghost. Sing something there in the background, bro. Thank you, Jesus. All the words are broken. Broken. Wait a second, man. Praise God. Just stand there for a second. And I want you to turn this way. Stretch your hands out to, towards her. What's your name? Vanessa. Yeah. Now, Vanessa, I'm going to touch your forehead. And I want you just to relax. Okay? I'm going to break the words that were spoken over you. I see about five different people in your life that have said very critical things to you. And they've hurt you. Even when you were young, they've hurt you. But I'm removing that sting from you. I'm removing like the knife. I'm taking it away. So I'm just, the, your, your armor's up a little bit, so I'm gonna wait till it goes down. But I just, I'm taking that out. I'm taking that out. Because God is gonna give you, and I'm gonna touch your head now, when I do, all your depression is going to leave you. So watch. I'm just laying my hands on you. Okay? Let's see if the armor will go down. You don't have to protect yourself at all. There it goes. All of that is gone. You're too critical of yourself. You're too critical of yourself. That's an assignment that was put on you. See, those words created that. And you've, you've had to get a little tough, a little hard to protect yourself. Give me your hand. You don't have to do that. You're wonderful. You're a wonderful person. God loves you so much. You don't have to do that. Just let it go right now. Let the anointing that's here right now repair that. Stop being hard on yourself and critical on yourself and, and finding fault with yourself. I'm just relieving you of that as well in the name of Jesus. You see, it's totally affected the way you see yourself. But you, I'm, I'm, re, I'm repainting the picture of you to you with God's picture in my mind right here. And I'm just telling you, He loves you. You know that here. But it's going to reach your heart. And it's going to redefine your year beginning tonight. Praise the Lord. That's why you have some of the problems in the stomach. And put your hands right there. That's why you have that issue. 
and, and some of the stuff with the heartburn and all that too. So I'm touching your hands and I just declare that you will be free. Now I want you to forgive everybody. Forgive them for the years that they stole from you. Because they stole those years from you and you know they did. You could have been happier. You could have had a lot of good things happen. But they took them from you. And that's really hard because they're gone. But God says he can repair the future. He can repair the future. Let the anointing come on you right now. Thank you, Jesus. Gently put your hands there on her shoulders. Thank you, Jesus. Also, you're not going to ever have a heart attack. And you're never going to die because of a disease that killed you. The devil's really been talking to you about this. And you and I haven't talked. But if God reveals it, then he heals it. Now, what I'm telling you, is that true? Yes. So I've got this church all helping me right here you're all helping me right church you're you're helping me flow and that's perfect flow right now thank you jesus sometimes you hear that there's some kind of cancer or growth growing inside you this is a demon this is a demon thank you jesus but the demon is breaking right now he's running away he's just taking off completely He's just leaving the building. He's leaving her house. He's leaving her family. And it's connected to someone in your family. Someone in your family that had cancer or had a disease. And you think it's going to be passed down. But I'm stopping it right now. It's not going to be passed down. Come on, everybody. Say it. It's not going to be passed down. Say, that's a lie. It is not going to be passed down. And I, I don't want you to stop crying. I want you to cry because you're getting out. This is how you get out the covenant of the satanic covenant that we make with Satan when he speaks a lie to us and we believe it. We create a covenant just like when we believe what God says, we create a godly covenant and it breaks the power of the demonic covenants and then we're completely set free by the power of the Holy Ghost. Praise God. So everybody... We're just right here in the Holy Ghost right now. I'm just flowing in the Holy Ghost and just ministering to her for a little bit, just flowing just a little bit. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Now, you've had a lot of anger as well, and because of this, this is where a lot of your guilt comes. And, of course, the depression is connected to despair and almost suicidal imaginations, sometimes wanting to die. But none of that is going to happen. None of that is going to happen. Praise the Lord. You are now being broken out of this cycle that was in your family before you. But you don't have that inheritance. Praise the Lord. Now I declare that every negative word has been turned into a positive blessing. Praise the Lord. Now I want you to say, I'm free and I'm healed. I'm free and I'm healed. Say it again. I'm free and I'm healed. I'm free and I'm healed. I'm free and I'm healed. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. You see, sometimes you don't think you're worthy of having anybody love you. And like, wow, Lord, how can, I, how can anybody ever love me like that? But I'm going to tell you something. Beginning today, you're going to get chased by love. Love will be the sculptor of your future. Praise God. In the name of Jesus. You also had a lot of lower back pain. And so, how long have you been having that? A long time. Since I was young. So, I need someone here to help me real quick. Oh, you're there. So put your hands right there in the lower back. Um, so if God reveals something, then you can expect him to take care of it. You're going to wake up with a desire 
and hear what I'm about to tell you in the right way. You're going to wake up with a desire to change some things tomorrow morning. And just do it. Don't talk about it. Don't think about it. Just do it. God bless you. Thank you. Praise the Lord. All right. So I break those things. I break those things. I break those things. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God, for the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. One second, sir. Let me just bless your back as well and your body and all your bones, everything like that, sir. Just put your hand out like that. And I just bless you that you'll feel younger than you felt in 20 years, beginning right now in Jesus' name. That's it. God bless you. Thank you, sir. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Intercession ministry. Thank you, Lord. Miracles everywhere. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Wait a second. What's your name? Alexis. Yeah. Now, do you have any parents here? I do. Where are they? Audrey. Right there. <laughs> C- come over here if you would. Praise the Lord. Now, do you have sisters or brothers or anything? Yeah. Okay, so hold her hand about that. Praise the Lord. Just hold hands. So... Tell me exactly what you want Jesus to do because I already have the answer. He already said yes. So just tell me what you need him to do. Um, I just want him to take away the drugs and alcohol out of their life. <laughs> so if God reveals it, heals it. Okay? So brothers and sisters right here, in the name of Jesus, on fire for God, blazing for God, no alcoholism. Listen to my words. No alcoholism can cross the threshold. What happened is that a spirit of compromise entered at some point of their life. It's gone after you. But you're going to be okay in every way. You're going to be a mighty warrior. You are the, you are the key. You are the soldier. You are the, you are the one that's going to that's going to shine like the stars in the heavens because you're going to turn many people to righteousness. You were born to be an evangelist woman, a woman of God that can go to foreign countries and minister to children and minister to people. And you're going to have music rise up in you and all kinds of prophetic things come out of you. And you're just going to be an amazing, powerful. But this burden must be fixed. This thing must be fixed with your brothers and sisters of your family and just in the name of Jesus Lord I just agree that it's all taken care of sing hallelujah everybody and let's call them out call their names David and what Lord David and Sky we just call them right here you come home in the name of Jesus and be delivered in every way let all that stuff go out of your life we're agreeing all of us right now We're agreeing by the power of the Holy Ghost that it's going to take place. Jesus, 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 fix this, God, in Jesus' name, by the power of the Holy Ghost. When you speak now, your words will not be from man, but they will be from God. And they'll sound different to them. They won't sound like my sister's words. They'll sound like, what, what? It'll capture something with everybody. Praise the Lord. So rise up and do the things God has called you to do. God bless you. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, sir. I break all that. Praise the Lord. What do you do? Is that all you do? Is your dad here? Your parents here? This one here? Praise the Lord. Do you want me to say something to you? You want me to say something to you? Because, look, I'm going to tell you this. Um, Think of this word, spectacular. That's who you are. You are a spectacular diamond of talent waiting to be unleashed on the world. You're going to have to resolve a couple of things inside. You have to resolve them. And when you resolve them, It's going to be like God opens his treasure house to you and says you can have anything you want. There's nothing he's going to withhold from you. Nothing. But 
But that has to be concluded. Concluded. Whatever people did or said or whatever's happened, whatever that come, whatever that is, when that's concluded, it'll be like a flood, like a river taking you over and just leading you to places. You know, you're going to be a very gentle man and a very compassionate and a kind man. You'll have some beautiful children. <coughs> never get a divorce and you're just going to be so favored by God and so loved by a lot of people this is what I have to say to you praise the Lord so I break all satanic words in the name of Jesus of Nazareth you are not those things that you have thought felt and even done you are what God is saying to you today you are a forgiven champion living in unstoppable power and love in the name of Jesus. Make sure you always forgive yourself. Make sure you always forgive yourself. It's something I've had to learn. It's a hard thing to learn. But you do it because it'll form your future. Praise God. Bless you, buddy. Praise the Lord. God bless you. I break all that. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Thank you. A lot of money coming your way. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Thank you, man. Thank you. I break all those things. I'm just touching you right here. Thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Ma'am, is this your... You guys are together? Well, just hold each other. Like, just hold each other like that. And turn around this way. Like this. Turn around. Church, extend your hands towards them. Now, now hold me. Just hold me like that. Yeah, see that? That's, that's Jesus loving me right there. My mom and dad are gone, but I got a mom and dad right here loving me. This is a mom and dad. This is a mother and a father. These people, all they got to do is hug you, and they'll heal all the orphan stuff inside you right there. And that's what I just wanted to tell you. Just love everybody. Praise the Lord. And let's put your hands on her right here, just for the anemia, because this anemia is an, an, an in, uh, out of balance thing in her body. So in the name of Jesus, Lord, we just ask for that to come and just give her super natural strength and energy in the name of Jesus by the power of the Holy Ghost. Everybody say, I receive that for myself. Glory to God. Five other things, man. Praise God. Thank you. I break that in the name of Jesus. Come on. Thank you, Lord. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. You're a great man, sir. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, come back, actually. Yeah, come back over here. Is that your wife with you? Or? Yeah. I just like you guys. Yeah, did I already minister to you? Because I just think you all are so nice and such a beautiful spirit. And, and there's a lot of goodness in you, a lot of kindness in you, a lot of stuff. And I just want to tell you that anything you pray will all be answered. So it's all yours. Ask anything you want. There's no no. It's all yes. Praise the Lord. So God bless you. Go sit down and pray for me. Praise the Lord. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Praise you, Jesus. Praise God. One second here. Ex extend your hands here real quick. And I, I just want to pray for you for a second. Um, stand over here if you would. Are you visiting or are you here all the time? You're just kind of visiting, though. Yeah. Now, you understand, I don't know you, do I? Right. But I want to just tell you a few things, ma'am. Number one is that God really loves you a lot. But you do not love yourself. And actually, you have people that hate you and have physically and sexually abused you. But ma'am, I am telling you right now that you are going to get healed right now and you're going to get delivered right now because this is not what God planned. You're on some uh, drugs and things. You're going to get delivered, ma'am, right now from those, those drugs because Jesus loves you. And he brought you here to heal and restore you. And I'm going to tell you that for every terrible thing you've experienced that's driven you almost into the grave, almost into the grave, now, you, you help me, ladies and gentlemen, because there's a suicide spirit, and I'm lifting it off right here in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. 
Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. We, we just, there are many healings. There's the growing out of an arm. There's the replacement of a blind eye. And then there's a replacement of a heart. The healing of a whole life. The healing of a soul. The repairing of a broken heart. The desire to live. Those are healings. This is why you're in, you're in probably, in my opinion, one of the greatest churches in the, in the whole world because of the diversified anointings that flow through the church. That if you don't take them for granted, they will make you so rich in so many ways. This lady right here is in a jail. She's in a prison, but we're getting her out right now in the name of Jesus of Nazareth by the power of the Holy Ghost. So I stretch my hands out and you're helping me and I break that completely tonight in the name of Jesus of Nazareth by the power of the Holy Ghost. Now, ma'am, because you have been wallowing in the shame, God is going to allow you to wallow in the glory. So he's going to go, you're going to go from wallowing in the shame to wallowing in the glory. Praise the Lord. And God is going to give you the strength to be delivered from these tyrants of torture. Praise the Lord. Sing it now. Tyrants of torture. In the name of Jesus of Nazareth, Lord. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Just sing it right for a second. Now give me your hand. Say this prayer with me. Say, Jesus, save my life. I want to go to heaven. Please come into my heart. Please live there. Give me the strength and the power to be free from these monsters that are inside of my life. In the name of Jesus, I command you, Satan, to let this woman loose right now. And I command you to take your hands off of her in the name of Jesus. And you will never torment her again by the power and by the blood of Jesus and the authority of Jesus. She is no longer your slave. She no longer belongs to you. She now belongs to Jesus. And she will be free. And she will walk free and live free and do everything that God has called her to do in the name name of Jesus because the devil is defeated in the name of Jesus of Nazareth. Praise God. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. All right, go sit down in the name of Jesus. Come on, give the Lord a hand, everybody. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. I break that. I break those words. I break those words. I break those words. Now, do you have somebody you're praying for in the family? God told me to tell you it's all done and taken care of, man. So you can go sit down and praise God very quick. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Sir, um, you have brothers? How many brothers do you have? How many of them are alive? Do you want them to go to heaven and, and really serve God? And, and how many are? And how's that all doing? Two of them are? And three of them are not. So how about we get all of them in? Praise God. Okay, let me, let me, let me took my hand. I'm going to relieve you of this chest pain right here that you have periodically right there. Okay, I'm going to make sure that this, this part of your, your body is, is totally healthy, including your heart and every part of your body, Lord. But in doing that, that's just on the side. In doing that, I agree for those three brothers in the name of Jesus, Father, that they all get saved and they begin to serve you and walk with you, God, and his sisters as well in the name of Jesus. Let him have them call on the phone and make it the most joyful days of his life. In the name of Jesus of Nazareth, Lord, by the power of the Holy Ghost. Thank you, brother. God bless you. Praise the Lord. Yes, ma'am. Just a, a, a lot of joy for you, ma'am. God bless you. In the name of Jesus. So many needs tonight. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. I break those words. I break them. 
I break them. I break them. I break them in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Sing it out. That's beautiful. Hallelujah. I break them. I break them. Hey, sir. Sir, what do you do for a living? Okay. And, and, and do you make a good living at it? I believe the Lord is telling me that you're going to get totally out of debt. And that you're going to have a lot of extra money. And look, listen to what he's telling me. With every surrender will come a prosperity. Now, there's three things you've got to surrender to right here with me right now. And so I'm just asking you to do it because three prosperers would immediately enter your life. Praise the Lord. So just take my hand and I just agree right now that the three surrender, you know what they are right there in your, in your mind. Okay? They just entered your mind. I agree with you. We don't need to repeat them. But there they are. Surrender, surrender, surrender. Now they belong to God. So prosperities will follow. Praise the Lord. God bless you, sir. Praise God. Thank you. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Let's praise the Lord a little bit. Sing that song. It's so amazing. Praise God. Break those words. Wait a second. Praise God. What's your name? Deborah. Now, who are you with? Just by yourself? And, and, and if you don't mind me asking, um, are you married then? Okay. And have you ever been married? Okay. How, how long ago was that? How many? Okay. 15 or 18 years. Okay. And you and I haven't talked or anything. But you got to hear what, I'm, what I want to tell you. If you want to sell a house, you make it look really good. And people might even cover up the things that are broken to just make it look good in order to sell it. But then when the buyer comes and he buys it, he says, you didn't tell me about this pipe. You didn't tell me about this leak. You didn't tell me about this. But man, it looks all repaired. So here's what I'm, I wanted to tell you. God will not leave anything in you unrepaired and broken. Because I promise you within two years, you're about to enter into a dream. God bless you. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Everybody say hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I break those things in the name of the Lord. Glory to God. Come on, everybody, sing that in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Let's go after your other children. Let's ask God to just heal them and make them whole and make them, make them the perfect result of your prayers for them all of their lives. That you can look at them and say, God has done amazing things. There be no compromises. There be no half commitments. They be lions of Judah filled with the fires and blazing holiness of God. And with the power of God in the name of Jesus. Amen. And God just comforts you today in Jesus' name by the power of the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. I break that up in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Everybody lift your hands and let's praise the Lord a little bit. Thank you, Jesus. What a night we're having tonight. Praise the Lord. Tell somebody, man, I'm glad I came to church. I was tired when I came. Now I'm just all full of joy. Glory to God. Praise the Lord. Sing that again. That's amazing. Glory to God. Come on.
Come on, everybody, sing it out a little bit. If you have a, a, a situation going on with the IRS, I need you to get up right now and come over here and touch my hand, and God's going to reverse that for you in the name of Jesus. Come on, right now, in the name of Jesus of Nazareth. Come on, ma'am, that's taken care of. In the name of Jesus, praise the Lord. Can I ask you a question? This is a weird question. Try to be honest. I don't mean you're not going to be honest, but have you ever been to jail? Okay, you got to hear what I'm about to tell you. You are never going to jail. And nobody will ever force you or take something from you or steal from you or rob anything from you ever because God is putting a wall of protection around you and it's starting with this thing right here. Praise the Lord in the name of Jesus. That's it, brother. Glory to God. So I just agree with you right now in the name of Jesus. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Have mercy on them, even if they don't deserve it. That's what I'm asking for. Praise the Lord. Look at two people and say, holla, holla. Praise God. And if you deserve it, then I'm asking God to give you a hundredfold return in Jesus' name. There was about nine of you that didn't come up because you're too embarrassed, and now you're on your own, and I wish you'd come up. You ought to get up right now and say, dear Lord, forgive me. I should have gotten up. Praise God. I'm just going to wait for a second and see if you, you'll respond in Jesus' name. Nine of you. Thank you, ma'am. That'll be taken care of. Praise God. Eight of you. Praise you, Jesus. Come on now. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Seven of you. Praise you, Jesus. Don't be too proud to get blessed now. Praise God. Six of you. In the name of Jesus. Come on. Thank you, Lord. Five of you. Four of you. Come on three of you come on don't be too proud to get blessed thank you Jesus two of you thank you Jesus glory to God praise the Lord go ahead and hug the person next to you and say I know it's you no <laughs> no I'm just kidding <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> How many of you think God loves, loves to set people free? Doesn't he, though? Close your eyes. The Lord's telling me this is going to be a battle, what I'm about to do. He said it's going to be a battle, Ivan, because of the pride in some people's life. But close your eyes. There are people tonight that God wants to set free of pornography. He really does. All you got to do is come up and touch my hand, and Jesus will break it and set you free. I was in a big church, and I had over 200 people come up, 72 couples, a woman that was almost 70 years old and a nine-year-old child, and they all got delivered right on the spot and never will have the problem again because they were able to say, I want this wicked thing out of my life, and I'm just doing what the Holy Ghost is telling me. So, if you want to get free, come on up here and let me touch you and get free. I'm feeling the battle. Let's see if God can win in somebody's heart right now. Jesus, just win it. Come on, Jesus. Set them free right now. Thank you, brother, for doing that. I honor that in you. I honor that, brother. I honor that. You'll never, never, never lack because of that. In the name of you'll never lack because of that, brother. You won't, I promise you. You'll never. There ain't nothing to be ashamed about. The devil's after everybody. Praise the Lord. Thank you, brother. That's going to be broken. Three people out of a whole entire church. Think about that. Congregation. Praise the Lord. I'm going to go forward then. With everything God says or does, he provides a supply and a source. Praise the Lord. So let me give you these things quickly because of time and uh, Christ-likeness. So the only pure fruit 
The only fruit you can ever trust is Christ likeness. Change is the only evidence of an encounter with God. And the only acceptable apology to God or any human is change. Praise the Lord. Then, when you are walking this, there will be an absence of resistance. Because God resists the proud, but he gives grace to the humble. So when you start washing people's feet, then you're going to be free from all resistance in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. I appeal to you. I am not saying this because I am in need, for I have learned to be content in any circumstance. Divine contentment comes to you when you no longer need to be approved by people because you are doing the will of God in the way you are living your life as a servant. Contentment is the absence of inner bait that Satan can use to seduce you and defeat you. When you are content, there is nothing he has to offer you that you are going to want in your life. Praise the Lord. Tell two people right now, I'm getting a breakthrough right now. Praise the Lord. How many of you need contentment from the Holy Ghost? Divine purpose, Jeremiah 29, 11. Tell somebody, I love to know that I am in the will of God and in the center of the plan of God in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Over there, ma'am, come on up here. Yeah, come on up here. Praise the Lord. The best thing that can happen to you is for you to do what you were born to do. Isn't that true? Praise the Lord. Sing that song. And just stand there for a second. Sing that song. Everybody sing that song. So, you are a carrier of the presence of God. Sing it. You are an imparter of the glories of God. You are like a florist in the spirit. You make ugly people beautiful with the blessings that God is going to give you. You will first be possessed by the beauty of God personally. Then it will come out of you. And everywhere you go, there will be an aroma of heaven and of the glory of God. You will be a person that starts laughing and your laughter will hit people, even people that don't know Jesus. And they'll just start laughing with you and be delivered from depression and suicide and misery. There will be no knots inside of you. Nothing will be hard or stiff. Nothing will be restrained or bound or enslaved. You'll just be free. You're going to walk around smiling all the time. People will think you're crazy and that you're putting it on. But when they get near you, they'll just start laughing. They'll just start laughing. They'll say, hey, what? The <laughs> they'll, just start <laughs> they'll just start laughing. And they won't be able to stop. And they'll feel stupid and silly. But they'll get delivered from their pride and from their vanity. And the joy of the Lord will go before you. And it will be behind you. And it will be all around you. And you're just going to have joy in the morning and joy in the evening. Every mistake you've ever made is going to turn into a ministry. Every failure is going to turn into a testimony. Every wound is going to be a weapon. And every broken chain is going to be your ministry that God is going to give you and bless you with. You ought to run around church. Come on, run around the building. Glory to God. Everybody say hallelujah. Praise God. Tell somebody the devil is a liar. Glory to God. Praise God. Man, you're doing good tonight. You know that a servant is never out of work. Praise the Lord. God's greatest compliment. I have more, but I'm going to quit with this. God's greatest compliment to you is to tell you that he trusts you. Praise the Lord. That's the biggest compliment he can give you. Would you close your eyes tonight? And let's thank God for everything he's done already tonight. And let's praise him for his wonderfulness. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. There's quite a few of you that have a problem being deaf in your left ear. And I want you to stand up if that's you. God wants to touch your ear. 
and heal it tonight. Praise the Lord. And just put your hand on that ear. And you know one thing the Lord told me? To be careful about sensationalism. Because he says some of that is the vanity of a person. It's not the purity of the love of God. And I don't want to do that. So I'm going to ask you to put your hand on your ear. And then I want you to give a testimony about that. That your ear has popped open this coming week. Praise the Lord. Go to Pastor Bob and say, Bob, I can hear. My ear was healed. And give that testimony. Praise the Lord. Let it happen in the name of Jesus. Your hand is on your ear. And now I declare that your ear will be open. And that you will be able to hear perfectly. And that it will be healed till the day you die. Anything God heals never gets old. Praise God. Your left ear will always hear. If your right ear doesn't hear, you need to get prayer. But your left ear is going to hear. Tell them if you're next to them, you're going to hear perfectly. 2020 hearing. Amen. Praise the Lord. You may be seated. Close your eyes for a minute. And I want you to hear this. Sing it again, brother. Hear that song. And I want you to think about a, a couple of things right now. There are some of you that have got... A, a separation between you and your father. It is a separation. And God is going to heal that. If your father is passed on, then he's going to heal it in you. I need you to come up here right now and let me touch you. And let the anointing happen between you and your father in your heart. And let God take care of that. Because God is going to fix this. And it is going to be healed. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Jesus. Now you, you will be a father to the fatherless. You will be a, a champion to the rejected. You will be a healer of those that have been abandoned, physically abused, those that have been tortured. You will be a rescuer of those that no one else cares to even look in their direction. This is who God is making you. You will be a, a great, you will be a walking heart. You will be a walking heart. A walking heart. Wow, what a word. A walking heart. That's who you are. Praise the Lord. God bless you, sir. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Let's stop for a second. Turn around like this. Not so people can look at you, but so people can minister to you. Would you stretch your hands out here to her? Praise God. This is between you and your dad. Is your dad still alive? This between you and your dad. Give me your hand. This between you and your dad. Do you know that your, your image as, as a woman has been damaged? This is why you've made mistakes that you know you never should have done. But I am going to heal you of that through Jesus Christ right now. Stretch your hands, everybody, and help me. Your heart is being replaced. God is healing you from the things that have happened. Three major areas of your life have been broken and wounded with words, deeds, and actions. Now, in the name of Jesus, you have a heavenly Father who deeply loves you and is restoring back to you a miraculous life and you will not walk in this any longer so I just bless you in Jesus name you are not what you were told that you were you are a beautiful princess of God you are a ballerina to God you are someone he can depend on now. 
and rely upon. Thank you, Jesus. Now let your eyes see from that point of view because you are worthy to be loved by the best people on planet Earth. In Jesus' name, amen. Praise God. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. Heal these, Lord. Heal these. Praise God. And each one of you, I know, needs prayer. But God, I'm just agreeing with you that that'll be healed in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Praise God. Man, I'm amazed. I'm totally amazed at Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, everybody. Lift your hands and thank God. What a night we've had already. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. We had a great service. Great service this Sunday. We had great service last night. If you weren't here, get the tape. We had a great service tonight. Thursday, I'm going into a whole different thing. It's going to be an amazing service. I'm so excited about it. God's just going to do fantastic and fabulous things. Can I do this one last thing tonight? And here's what I want to do. It's a simple blessing. I believe in it with all my heart. And I believe it will come to pass. I really do. I believe God will give you a house and pay it off. I believe this. We've had almost 40 of them this year already. 40 people whose homes have been paid since January. I am believing God for 100 homes to get paid off this year. Praise God. Do you believe that's you? Come on up here. Run by and let me just touch your hand and say, I'm getting my house paid off. Glory to God. And if you're supposed to pay off somebody's house, pay Pastor Bob's off first. <laughs> Glory to God. That's the word of the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Just touch my hand and I'll agree. But when your house is paid off, please tell Pastor Bob. Glory to God. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. The Lord's speaking to me right now about something. Woo, Lord Jesus, I'm hearing it right now. Don't let this freak you out. Somebody's going to pay your house off. And I'm, I heard the Lord say that tonight uh, we're supposed to raise $10,000 for the church. That's just what I heard right now. You're just going to have to decide if I heard from the Lord. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. But if you're one of those 10 people that's supposed to give $1,000 to the church, I need you to raise your hand and let me see it. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. I agree your house is going to be paid off in the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Lift your hand up if that's, if that's one of you. Just, just lift, wave it at me so I can count because I want to see. Praise God by the power of the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. That's just what he told me. Ten people were here that are willing to give $1,000. Let's say in the next month. Glory to God. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. Wave your hand if that's you. Wave your hand. There's one. There's two. There's three. There's four. Four. Wave your hand if you haven't lifted it. Praise God. Four people. Four. But the Lord said ten people would. And I'm not going to force you to do it. And I'm not wanting to manipulate you by saying the Lord said that either. But since he did say it, <laughs> I'm just saying it. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Praise the Lord. How many of you would give $500? $500. Let me see your hand if that's you. So there's, there's three, four five, six, six, so that makes, there's seven, one more to make it eight, one more to make it eight, if you haven't lifted your hand, okay, there's eight, so, so that was 4,000 plus eight makes it another, that's 8,000, so you just need 2,000 more, praise the Lord, how about $250, can I have, how many do I need, I need $250, I need uh, uh, eight, people to give $250 and that makes it 10,000. Praise the Lord. Is that okay? How many of you would do the 250? Praise the Lord. Lift your hand if, if you'll do that. So I think that's eight people. There's one. There's two. Two. Three. Praise the Lord. 
Sing the hallelujah. Maybe that'll help them. <laughs> manipulation is not manipulation when you say it's manipulation. <laughs> it's only manipulation when you act like it's not. Praise the Lord. <laughs> That's what God told me. A long time ago when I used to push people, the Lord said, you know, just tell them you're going to push them and don't blame me for it. Just tell them you're having fun and just throw them around. And so, praise God, you know. Uh, so, three, I think that was four for 250, so that makes it 9,000. So, we've got someone else that wants to give that other 1,000. I believe you'll do it. So, there's 9,000. That's it. Praise the Lord. If you want to do the other, just do it. But praise God. I just believe that's an extra blessing uh, to Pastor Bob and the church and whatever they want to do with it. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Amen. <laughs> Hug two people and say, praise God. What a night we had tonight. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Let's believe for this lady right here to have great financial blessing. Now, how do I know that? She actually told me. She came to the book thing and told me. And so what I'm going to do is, because I, if anybody ever tells me anything, I always say it. I always say it. So I know this information. This is something not the Lord revealed this to me. I know it. But out of compassion, I can agree with you. And then she can start having financial release. Praise the Lord. So I agree with you, ma'am, that you'll have financial release and not have that weight on your shoulders anymore in the name of Jesus. Can everybody say amen? Praise God. Thank God. Let's bless Jesus a little bit and say, man, I'm glad I'm in church. Glory to God. It's a beautiful life. Praise the Lord. Well, the last thing tonight is an offering for me. <laughs> so turn to seven people and say, praise God. I'm believing God uh, for 110 people to give $100 for, to help our orphans with inoculations for hep hepatitis A, uh, also for um, books for their, for their uh, uh, school, and also for uniforms. So that's the three things, and I'm just asking God for that. Any amount you give, thank you for giving it. Whatever you give, we so appreciate it, and it's so, so thankful for it. Also, I have cards in the back. Uh, today, my daughter told me that $3,100 a month is what it takes for our school books and all those kinds of things to be taken care of for all. We are part of a Christian organization school in Guatemala that is, um, that is um, qualified by the government and accepted by the government. So all our kids, the school they go to, they can go to any college or do anything. But we have to pay all kinds of tuitions and books, and we're under their authority. It's a Christian school, and so that's how they do all our stuff. So that's what it takes. If you want to be one of those 31 that can help us every month with $100, meet me back at the back and take one of those white cards that say orphan cards, because I need to raise 31 people that will do that um, every month. It's a real need, my daughter told me today, because we've got so many new, new students and new kids. So if God leads you to do that, great. Uh, either way, I'll get it. Praise the Lord, next couple of weeks. But hopefully, you know, some of you will come from here. But I want to hand it over to Pastor Bob. I hope I did good for you, ladies and gentlemen. May God bless you, and I'll see you on Thursday. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Pastor Bob. Did you enjoy that today? Hallelujah. We're going to receive the offering. If you have a check, make it payable to Evangel. But I want you to close your eyes just for a moment. And I want you to picture one of these 110 orphans. Some of those kids came right off the garbage pile. I've been in Guatemala. I preached all through Guatemala. There's eight rich families in Guatemala. Everybody else poor. And I want you to See those 110, I want you to pick one of them. You may pick a little girl, you may pick a little boy. I want you to pick one of them. And now I want you to buy them something. I want you to do something for them. And that's what this offering's gonna do. You pick the one you want. And when you give in the offering, it's for that little boy or that little girl. If you don't have any money, I want you to borrow some right now. Look over somebody who looks like they're rich and borrow some from them. Had a little boy come to me. He said, 
Brother Bob, are you a billionaire? I said, no, I'm a godzillionaire. Hallelujah. And in Christ, we're all rich in Jesus' name. And on your worst, poorest day, you're a hundred times better off than those little kids. And so let's do what we can do. Let's do a good offering tonight. Amen. I want you to pray with me. Say, Lord Jesus, thank you that I'm, I live here in America. Thank you that you've blessed me. And I want to be a blessing. Let this offering be more than enough to meet every need. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you as you give tonight. Hallelujah. How many have been blessed? God's touched you in some way. Hallelujah. Praise God. Clarence, come up here just a minute. Clarence has been here almost every night. Clarence, what's God done for you? He's just blessed me with what he's taught. It's really been on my heart, a lot of things that he said. It's just blessed me. Yeah, turn around here. I want you to lead us. As we go tonight, I want you to lead us in our shout. One, two, three. Jesus. 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 Jesus.